So what is up everyone this is Ken here welcome back to Tech Kern YouTube channel MIUI VN edition is here which is kind of a custom room based on MIUI which comes with some basic customization options it's available for some other devices and we have installed it on our Redmi Note 10 Pro it's available for Redmi Note 10 Pro and Redmi Note 10 Pro Max both you can install it on your device it has some customizations which we're going to talk about in this video so stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end we install the MIUI VN 12.5 21.9.1 china beta of course it has the china beta features available for you it's we have installed on redmi note 10 pro it has china beta features which means the latest china beta features are there of course it's supported rom unlike elite edition that was based on official version but it has some port uh, port things available for you september security patch is included the new widget store is here you can see you can add these new widgets if you want to it's already included in this build if you move on and check out the app vault you'll see these widgets here these are already included i haven't installed any third party app for that i haven't installed any tweak for that these are the things which you get by default here this is MIUI VN edition and you get the new widget store that looks quite good by the way if you like it you can use it if you don't like it you can disable it in settings of course you have the option available for that or simply just don't use it if you click on this option plus icon you'll see these widgets and you can add custom widgets if you want to it has some chinese language available here and there but because it's based on china no worry it has the google play services it has a google play store it has every google app which you want on your device by default don't worry about that but still it has all the chinese features too you can add this calendar you can add these timing options everything you can add on your home screen if you want to and make your device look more better compared to the previous update this is a new launcher as you can see we have this widgets option the wallpaper select option and the settings option these are the options you get here and this is only available in the new updated MIUI alpha launcher update so yes it's already there in the terms of magis related things if you have installed it on the thing is you make sure you have installed magis because without magis the room will not boot up on a device and in the terms of safeness status as if safeness status is passing for you or not unfortunately it will not you need to do some specific things for that change fingerprint use magis guide props or even you can use the latest method which i made a video on i haven't tried out that method but in my case safeness status has some issues ls post was not working so which means i was not able to use the new method like x privacy lua sect i was not able to use that the thing is some users said they are having no issues while using banking apps you can hide the magic and you can use banking apps but i'm not sure about that because in my case it's not working even though i hide the magic from settings but safeness status is not passing so yes the thing which you need to keep in mind is the safeness status is not passed but if you want to use banking apps you can try hiding magic it's up to you security as sector has the same kind of ui same kind of options but you can simply swipe up to get these features swipe up to open toolbox and this is the new ui which you get here in this new latest security app which is already included here because it has the MIUI 13 kind of installer package installer available for you which is already included in this system toolbox or you can say in the security app you have new options in settings which we will talk about later on these are the things you get here for example let's just move on to the settings and settings ui has almost same features my device at the one settings we can talk about later on wallpaper and personalization of course it is amoled display so always on display is there and you can use it for whole time if you want to in the terms of other options you can customize these fonts ringtones effects everything you can customize if you want to moving on to the other options for example always on display everything is present in the terms of default launcher as i previously mentioned you it's a updated launcher where you get the option of choosing the minus one screen you can customize the home screen layout or whatever else you want to choose the new security options are present here for you you can customize the screen lock shutdown confirmation require password for that and the new security options are already included which you by default sometimes don't get in the global stables etc but in china beta you have these features the new privacy protection options are present if you move on to the protection option and swipe up swipe up you have the incognito mode where you can suspend the permissions secure input network interception every latest feature is already included of course it is MIUI so privacy is actually a myth but yes still the, for the time pass things you can give it a try some options like tap plus etc are also there 
in my case it's just not working of course as expectedly if you enable this you need to go here press and hold an item with one finger to use tap plus something like that it was not even working i tried that but the thing is it's there if you want to use it you can if this of course it's of no use so simply just ignore this or disable this option if you want to the option is present but everything else is just kind of same if you move on to the other things for example this is a tap plus this is the thing which it will show the tutorial if you also move on some other options like this as you can see it's not working it will open second space the sector whatever I want to open edge controls are also present which is of course a not working feature but it's not a room bug because these are not features these are features which are not present in this device so don't worry about that simply ignore these features if you want to everything else I've already shown you and the terms of game turbo related things yes as expected the new game turbo is already included you can customize the mode for balanced mode or performance mode and if you are a gamer and looking to use a gaming mode in your device of course a Xiaomi user then you will not miss this the new game turbo is already present you can use the floating windows etc it's up to you and now here comes the main customization section we have some advanced settings display and control center etc includes the notification shade related customizations you can customize this disable cards you can simply disable the mobile data tile from there add fifth and sixth style which I have have already enabled and you already saw at the starting of this video customize the routing window pip size which means picture in picture and something like that which you can customize in the terms of smart mobile network you can customize things for example when Wi-Fi is turned on do not change network type on call etc some major options are present for you in the terms of status bar customizations here you get some default customizations style 1 or style 2 style 1 would be ios style and style 2 would be aosp style which is kind of the same feature which you also get in the elite options elite room you can also give it a try if you want to the link for that video is also here in the i button you can go and check it out and as you can see some status bar customizations are also present you can customize the network type etc it also includes some home scheme which means default customizations disable reboot menu or you can customize the advanced power menu it has approximately more than eight to nine styles power menu if i move on check out the style miui 13 let me just enable the miui 13 style volume panel miui 13 style power menu sorry and this is how it's looking like you can customize this and you have approximately nine styles of power menus advanced styles available for you this is something really interesting one and if you like it you will definitely use it other options include the charging animations you can customize this number of columns in in number of number number of folders in columns at sector expand top notifications unread messages blur reboot menu etc etc some phone and contacts information are also included these were things i just want to let you know and if you want to install this link is in the description install the room install magisk and you're good to go steps to installation is in the description goodbye Like I'm floating through the air